Seek and you will find. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I want to keep talking about this passage in the book of Luke, chapter 11, where Jesus said, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. And so last time I talked about ask, and next time I'll talk about knock, and this time I want to talk about seek. Seek and you will find. If you want to find God, just look for him. You'll find him. A lot of good things are worth looking for. You know, my grandpa, he likes to take me and all the rest of us cousins, he likes to take us out looking for morels. And a morel is a kind of mushroom that you can eat, like a really good tasty kind of mushroom that you can eat. They're kind of ugly though. Like if you were to take a picture in your mind of what a mushroom looks like, it's like that, but mixed with like a waffle and a sea sponge. And morels are, they're good, but they're also really rare. They're hard to find. And so, you know, once or twice a year in the spring, my grandpa will get all of us together and we'll go out into the woods and hunt for morels. And they're pretty hard to find because they're pretty good at camouflaging. So you have to look very carefully. And they, they also, like I said, they only come up sometimes. It's not like every year at this time we go out and we look for mushrooms. No, my grandpa just like knows based on like what the rain is doing and what the temperature is doing when the mushrooms are supposed to grow. And I should point out that mushrooms can be dangerous, like poisonous. So don't, don't just go out and look for a mushroom and find any old mushroom and eat it. No, if you're, if you're going to look for mushrooms, make sure you're going with an expert who knows exactly what mushrooms are edible, just like my grandpa does. Anyhow, we go out in the woods and we, we look for these mushrooms and we have to look under leaves and stuff because sometimes they're under leaves and they're really hard to find. If you're not looking for them, you're probably not going to find them. And it's totally worth it because they are delicious. I don't, know, I don't know what they would taste like if I tried to cook them, but my grandpa cooks them up really, really good. They're so tasty. And so we try to find as many as we can find. And it doesn't matter how many we find, grandpa will cook them all up. They're, they're great. And you know, some years we won't find any and some years we'll find a bunch. But one thing's for sure. If, if we don't go looking for morels, we're not going to have morels. And it's just like that with God. If you, if you don't go looking for him, you might not find him. But the cool thing about looking for God is that if you are really looking for him, if you're really seeking him, he says you'll find him. So you will. I think one of the best places to start, if you're looking for God, if you want more God in your life, I'd say start by picking up a Bible. The Bible is God's word. So if you want to know what God says, if you want to know what he thinks, read your Bible and keep reading it. It doesn't matter how often or how long or how many times you read your Bible, there's always something new to learn. But it's not just in scripture that you can find God. No, you can, you can actually just talk to him. You can pray to God. That's a great way to, to find him, to, to build a connection with him. And you can find him by you know, going to church and, and hearing good Christian teaching. You can literally find God everywhere. You know, the Bible says that really all of nature declares the glory of God. Everything that we see has God's fingerprints all over it. God is everywhere. Now, I'm not saying that everything is God. I'm not saying that a rock is God and a tree is God and you are God and I am God. No, but God's fingerprints are all over rocks and they're all over trees and they're all over you and they're all over me. They're all over everything. He created everything. And it's really hard to look at creation without seeing a little bit of the creator. Lots of people try to, but it's hard. They got to work at it. And man, even like false religions can get some parts right. Do not go to false religions trying to find God. They might get some parts right, but they get way too much wrong for it to be worth it at all. And it can honestly be dangerous. If you're looking for God, don't go looking in other religions. No, that's a bad idea. But if you seek God, you'll find him. Now, when I say that, I mean like really looking for God and really looking for the real God. You know, if you've got this picture in your mind of what God is, you're like, I am going to go find my idea of God. That might not work out so well for you. Because you can't tell God who he's going to be. God tells you who you should be. And you have a choice to be who God wants you to be or not. But God is God. It doesn't matter who you want God to be. He's God. He is who he is. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would seek God. The Bible says that if you look for him, seriously look for him. When you search for him with all your heart, you'll find him. And there's nothing better in the world than to have God in your life. Nothing better than to walk with him. And you know, it all starts with, with believing in him in the first place. The Bible says that if you believe in Jesus Christ, you will have eternal life. You can be a part of God's family. You can have access to God. If you're looking for God, you'll find him. The one who seeks, finds. 
Hey guys, I hope you liked this video, and I really hope that you will look for God. And that, that's something that you can keep doing, right? You can keep getting closer and closer to him every day. It's not like once you find him, you found him, and, and you, you now totally understand everything about him. No, God is way bigger than that. I look forward to an eternity of learning more and more about God every day. It all starts with believing in him. And if you seek him, you'll find him.